more bread? One 16 ounce can of monster. Mm. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, let's go. It's good. I gotta try it. It's good. It's really good. They can't keep getting away with it. They can't keep getting away with this. So there's a lot of discussion right now surrounding TikTok, you know, whether or not it's going to get banned, right? It's already getting banned on a lot of U.S. government officials, phones, there's some universities, military, right? And a lot of people are asking, what does TikTok know? Like, what's so bad about TikTok, right? There must be some kind of like secret that they have. And I'm here to tell you that actually it's right in front of our eyes, okay? It's the TikTok food recipes that we got a problem with. Okay, I got a problem with these. Some of these food videos I've seen on TikTok are the onboarding videos that you would see right before you're about to clock in for an eternal shift in hell, okay? What the f going on? These people cannot keep getting away with this. They cannot keep getting away with this. They're so disgusting. They're so unhealthy. I'm not sitting here talking, trying to be the most healthy person in the world, but like, this is really, like, these are like diabetes speed run situation. Like your heart's gonna stop. Like this is heartburn, okay? This is indigestion, this is upset stomach, this is diarrhea. This is reason number 470 million why TikTok's the worst place on earth. And um, it starts with a butter taco, okay? It starts with a butter taco. Yeah, let's watch this video. Hard taco shell and butter and you can't forget the mouse. Oh, y'all, so my taco literally cracked when I put it in there, but it's okay because I'm about to drip, 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 drip. This sauce on there, drip, 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 drip. And we're gonna dig in. Mm. Continue. Taco Bell. Mmm, I like that. I think I'm gonna need a minute after that one, all right? I feel physically ill. Um, why? Next one. I didn't really see what was going on here until I watched a couple more of her videos, but uh, let's just, let's just check this one out, this next one out. Butter, ragu, Get that thing in now. Dip it, dip it, dip it. Now this combo smack. I gotta try that. For me personally, like, you know, eating a stick of butter would be like maybe in a, a special occasion meal kind of thing. With that being said, like, I don't think ragu is gonna be the thing I'm gonna pick. Like, I'm gonna go, if, I'm, if I have to eat a stick of butter, okay, to celebrate, <laughs> I'm putting it in a, in a jar of rouse, okay? You, you gotta go rouse, you cannot go ragu. So, so many things wrong already with what we're seeing. This kind of behavior should not be celebrated, <laughs> eating an entire stick of butter. I just don't feel that way, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, next food combination that literally had me sick to my stummy. Here we go. So the reason I cooked chili in my last video was because I had a huge cinnamon roll that I need to figure out what to do with. And it's kind of a Midwestern thing to combine chili with a cinnamon roll. As a longtime Midwest resident, grew up in Illinois, shouts out Illinois. And as the official spokesperson of the Midwest, no, it's not. I just want to put it out there. Like, let's stop the press on this one. I microwaved it and got a bowl of chili with cheese. I don't know why, but I tried to dunk it in the chili, but it was too big and it was a little awkward. So I broke off chunks of it to dip in the bowl. I remember in elementary and middle school, whenever they served chili, they would give us a cinnamon roll on the side. I also am a representative of public school, okay? I did go to public school. This was not going on. <laughs> so you let me know though, you let me know. 
Am I wrong? Are most schools serving this? I don't even remember really being served chili. And we definitely were not served cinnamon rolls either. Just saying, that would have been like high class. Honestly, I can't remember if I ever combined them or just ate them separately. Let's just say the school is serving chili and cinnamon rolls. I don't think that their intention was that you eat them together and use the cinnamon roll like a breadstick, okay? Maybe I'm wrong. If you're wondering how it works, it just does. You have the sweet and softness of the roll with the savory, slightly saltiness of the chili, and it's a winning combo. For me, it definitely helps cut down the overwhelming sweetness of the cinnamon roll that I'm not usually a fan of. Have you ever tried cinnamon rolls with chili? Um, here's another video. So here's someone, they had to try the viral TikTok chili cinny roll. There's a quick little tip right there. I don't know, should we separate them? Uh, I say separate them. Okay, okay. Yeah. And then it's up to you if you want to like pour the chili on top. Do you want to eat it on the side? It's all up to you. I think on top. Okay. Let's pop them in. See, like, look how good those cinnamon rolls are. Yeah. Oh. That smells so good. Cinnabon never disappoints. You really want that sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> you want to do the honors? Uh, sure. Tops my bun. What happened to the flamethrower? plate. Oh, and icing. <laughs> Was that okay. just for show? <laughs> Matt's gonna try cinnamon roll and chili. Okay, chip. we're doing it. Really doing it. I'm committing to this too. I'm getting a big bite. It's gonna be hot. That's good. I, I need a whole plate of that. I'm gonna eat a whole plate of it. <laughs> I'd do it. <laughs> it's just two things that I love. Chili and cinnamon rolls. Sweet and savory. That's so good. Oh, that sounds good. What am I watching? Do you like the chili? Mm -hmm. I really like it. <laughs> Does it work? Yeah. Right? It works really well. I love that you're devouring. I don't know. I was kind of getting the vibe that that was That's a little so bit good. of a solicited review. <laughs> There's some foods you're going to see repeated in this video. Pickles, hot Cheetos, fruit roll-ups, and cream cheese. It's the four main food groups of TikTok. <laughs> These people must be stopped. So here's the next one. Look, I'm not here to make any overarching statements or generalizations about TikTok, but I just feel like some of the people on there are just doing way too much. <laughs> like, why do we gotta do this? Like, what, isn't ice cream enough? I feel like a lot of people attribute their attention deficit to TikTok, but I feel like there's another thing that's brewing in the distance, which is a new addiction to sugar. Next video, you may have already seen this, uh, it's been kind of popular for a while, but it's wild to me. We've got the prison burrito. When my stepkids ask for a burrito. What did it start off with again? When my stepkids asked for a burrito. Yeah, um, maybe just don't next time. Basically what a prison burrito is, like, I, and by the way, there's some controversy over this. There's some people who believe that a prison burrito is Takis, crushed up hot Cheetos, a ramen packet with the flavor, chicken flavor packet with hot water. And basically you roll it up in, into like a brick and then it sets and cooks. Ooh, oh my God. And then there's other people who have all those ingredients, but then they also add in like beef stick, Slim Jim links, maybe a couple other things. But look, the internet's divided over what's supposed to go into a prison burrito. I feel like I'm in the camp of maybe let's not eat this if we don't have to. <laughs> Here's another video. This is the other version. Hey, Bunk, I'm gonna make a hot Cheeto burrito, man. You want some? Hell yeah, for sure. It's about that time. All right, cool. I got you. All right. Using the inmate vending card. Oh. 
bussy. Comment down below which is the authentic version. <laughs> we need to settle this debate once and for all, all right? Of course, what happens on TikTok, people have started to make these as well. Guys, I made a prison burrito. Look at it, out of Takis, ramen, and Cheetos. Anyway, just no. And then we've got another video over here. I've always wanted to try a prison burrito, so that's what I'm gonna make. First All right, so we got another burrito going down right now. Ramen packet in, beef sticks going in. So this one's a little bit more authentic. Hot water going in, time to brick it up. And that looks completely disgusting. It's really good. Baby, what the f I am not trying that. Jojo Siwa was the last person I ever thought I would see in a jailhouse burrito recipe video. This is like one of those things like I don't I don't know maybe I'm like maybe I'm just I'm just different. I'm just I'm not like the other people but I just feel like I see something like that and, I'm, and I literally have zero curiosity about what that tastes like. I just don't, I like literally in my lifetime, I just don't want to know. I'm good with the not knowing. <laughs> this is one of the newer ones and this is actually the video that inspired this video. I introduce to you Monster Pie. Pacific Punch. One 16 ounce can of Monster. Mmm, it smells delicious, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. <laughs> Goodness. Yeah, let's go. One cup of sugar. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. Whisk it together. Now we're going to sprinkle this over the pie. Do not stir. Do not stir. Butter. Just a little bit. Do not stir. Mm, it so good. Look at that. Look at that. You're gonna bake this at 300 and. Wait, what did I say? The amount the energy, the energy drink has me going. Bake this at 400 degrees for 35 minutes. Reduce the heat to 375 and bake it for another 30 minutes. Oh my gosh. That little drink's kind of going though, y'all. I don't know why. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, whew. Hmm. I'm okay. No comment. Yeah, I'm okay. Oh, beautiful. It's very hot. I've been trying different press to see which one I like best. Look at that. Monster pie. They can't keep getting away with it. They can't keep getting away with this. The sugar overload. I mean, cause how much sugar does the Pacific Punch Monster have? Let me just look this up. I'm such a narc, but. It's got 26 grams of sugar. And then he adds another cup. It's too far. We've gone too far. We need to go back. Next up, we've got gross food combinations okay some of these have me sick to my stomach and it's not funny first up nature's chips raw onion is the perfect chip to dip in marinara sauce don't knock it till you try it how are your pickles and take your otter pop just drizzle it right in there till it's full, right to the top. And you just put your popsicle stick right in there. I made a pickle pop. Cheers. If you try it, let it defrost a little bit because it's really hard, but it's good. Just, just why? The amount of pickle, like crazy pickle combinations that I see. Oh, speaking of, you want to see crazy pickle combination? You have to try this, okay? We're going to do a Lay's chip. We're going to do a pickle. We're going to do 
a banana pepper, and we're gonna do some hot sauce. Mm. Oh my god. These people cannot be serious, man, but they are though. Like that's what's so scary is like they are. Okay, look at this one. No, look at this one. Rule number one. So we're doing the whole strawberry. Okay. Stemmage and all. Gotta have fun. Okay, some of these aren't that weird, like okay, ice, whatever. See, this is where you got me f***ed up. Like, you got me all the way f***ed up with this one. Oreo and salmon. And we got strawberry mayo. I mean, I think I'm gonna be sick. I don't know how much more of this video I can do. I'm gonna be honest. Do you wanna see my pregnancy cravings? Pretzels and frosting. No Pickles normal. and takis. Pickles right again. Here, we're starting to get a little weird. Gherkins, oops. And peanut butter. Peanut butter is another one where I'm seeing a lot of people doing some devious things <laughs> with peanut butter. Tomb, which is like a garlic spread, and pepperoncinis, onion, and peanut butter. See, now you lost me. The eating of the raw onions has really got me. It's got it's got me questioning the meaning of life. It's got me questioning how much more I can take of this. Grapefruit and soy sauce. Oh my god. Here we go, next one. Childhood snacks I still love. First is bread and butter stuffed with instant oatmeal and eaten like a hot dog. This is, this might be my final straw, is instant oatmeal with butter in an untoasted piece of bread eaten like a hot dog. And specified in the instructions, eat it like a hot dog. What are we doing? We have strayed so far <laughs> from the line. Next is cinnamon roll served with chili. The school I went to always served cinnamon rolls with chili and a lot of people I know still do this too. And last is toast with mayo and salt. It's also really good with tomatoes. Are people doing okay? I'm just asking, all right? I'm just asking. Next up, we've got garlic something. Bag delicious. I always eat the whole glass in one sitting. Is it really busting though? Let's go to Walmart. The whole glass. Okay, so I got everything. I made sure everything is open already, just so I don't run out of time making this. Chili powder, not too much, because I don't really like spicy, and some thyme. Oh, oh that's not I the liquid. The you gotta really shake this thing. Okay, there it is. Oh, oh wow. Yeah, what did the first girl say? She's eating the whole jar. Stop, no, just stop it, all right? I've got more. TikTok weird food combination. I like it. Vinegary and sweet is the best way to describe this. I like it. This might not be for everyone. An eight out of 10, it's pretty good. Ooh. Why does it look right? It looks like icing. I'm manifesting that this is gonna taste incredible. It tastes like a very creamy, like, pudding or something that is a little bit sour. I don't hate it, because if I did, I wouldn't be putting more mayo in it. I would give this a 7 out of 10, which I think is pretty good for such a strange combination. This next video stopped me in my tracks, alright? Hi, cornstarch lovers. This is a brand new cornstarch container. By the way, it is sort of like a new TikTok trend, which once again, very unhealthy TikTok trend, as most of them are. But it's kind of like a TikTok trend where people are eating cornstarch and like kind of gl glamorizing it. I don't know, <laughs> commodifying it. Somebody probably gave her a suggestion like, you should try this with cornstarch. Hi, you grill up pickle lovers. Those are expensive pickles, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and put another one over, but I'm gonna put it on the side. Get this nice and coated. All right, here she is. You know, I can definitely see cornstarch being on a pickle. 
if it's getting fried. Okay. Anyway, you get the picture, but just letting you all know, if you didn't know this, eating raw cornstarch can be very dangerous, okay? Can cause like all sorts of digestive problems, cause heart problems, it's an issue, okay? And it also could be, if you're craving, let's say, cornstarch, it's very disorderly eating where you probably need to go get like your blood checked because you have probably a deficiency. Like it's a, it's a, it's called something, it's called like, I think it's called pica or something like that, but it's like a red flag of, Something's not right. Anyway, don't do that. Let's not eat cornstarch. But uh, of course, with TikTok, like I said, the things you shouldn't be doing seem to get the most views. Mix cornstarch and butter. Okay, bet. So I couldn't find the, the little cup thing of cornstarch, so I got this one. So let me tell y'all how I thought I was recording and it wasn't recording. So I'm gonna try to do this again. Look. It's good. I got to try it. It's good. It's really good. Mm. Oh my God. Don't try that. Okay, don't try that. Switching gears a little bit. We must move on to the next segment. This is a new segment I would like to call Crock-Pot Crap. You may have already seen people talking about this, but basically there's a phenomenon on TikTok where every Crock-Pot recipe virtually is just only using cream cheese. It's like a couple ingredients and then cream cheese. An entire block of cream cheese. Got the corn going in. Okay, chicken just at the bottom. Rotel. Hatch chilies, taco mix. And an entire, and, and I don't know why she's holding it like that, an entire block of green cheese, okay? But what's interesting about this video is that you don't, she doesn't show the end result. <laughs> and I think that's probably for a reason. All right, Let's make video. some creamy garlic chicken in the crock pot. Technically, this recipe is for four chicken breasts, but we only need two, so that's all I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start off by seasoning my chicken breast. You're not surprised. No one is surprised. <laughs> Even though we're about to add in a ton of fresh garlic, you also wanna do some garlic powder, a little bit of salt and pepper. You wanna add in a shit ton of minced garlic. You can use like the store-bought kind, but I think it tastes better with the fresh. Four ounces of cream cheese, one there and a half is. cups of heavy whipping cream, and then I do a fourth a cup of water. I season some more with some thyme. We're gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna cook it at low for six hours, but at the five hour mark, I like to go in and add some gnocchi for an hour. I already know this is my favorite brand. It's so good. All right, y'all, it's been four and a half hours. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my gnocchi. At this point, I also season with a little bit more pepper. Lid back on, and this will just need to cook for another hour to hour and a half, and it'll be done. I added some fresh parsley just because I think it looks pretty. <laughs> we have some broccoli, and it is time It's to just eat. so... I love a good crock pot meal. Bye, y'all. <laughs> it's so heavy. Tonight's dinner in the crock pot is cream cheese chicken chili. Y'all, it's a must that you try this. It's so good. I double the recipe, so I'm going to be using three chicken breast. You are going to also Okay, beans going in. Just it's a waiting game now when the when the cream cheese is about to be dropped. Rotel again. Two blocks of cream cheese and two packets of dry ranch seasoning. I mean, is this mo the most disgusting thing you've ever seen? And then raw chicken at the bottom. Oh, that's ew. Just ew, dude. Okay, mama. Back. Creamy Italian chicken. Four chicken breasts in the crock pot, Italian seasoning on top, a brick of cream cheese cubed, shake some pepper on top, cream of chicken on top. Go ahead and okay. stir it on top. Ew. Now I use two cans of cream of chicken, but you can use just one too. Turn it on low for six to eight hours. Lid on, of course. Okay, now let's shred up that chicken. I like to just use my tongs here, but you can take out forks and do it too. Just like that. Cook up those noodles. Noodles in the crock pot. Give it a good stir. And your chicken and noodles is perfect to serve with steamed broccoli, side salad, and a dinner roll. At what point 
do we start considering crock pots as accessories to crime? These are the vehicles of all out warfare on people's bowels. It's gotta stop. It's got to stop. All right, you guys ready for this one? This one has a surprise twist at the end, so stay tuned. I've got a super simple crock pot recipe for you guys today that only requires four ingredients. Chicken breast, taco seasoning, cream There's cheese. There's cream cheese. Salsa. Two cups salsa. And that's it. That's it. Put it on high for four hours. Oh Once done, take the chicken out and shred it. My favorite way is to use my mixer. Add it back in and stir. And then scoop on tortilla shells. Everyone in my household loves creamy chicken taco night. Enjoy. <laughs> um, no thank you. The tortillas, I can't with that. Like seriously, I'm just, I'm shocked is all. That, that's all I can say is I'm shocked right now. Oh, here's another one. Let's make buffalo chicken dip. Preheat crock pot. 16 ounces cream cheese. Okay, we got the cream cheese going in. One cup of ranch as well. One cup of buffalo sauce, all right. This already looks disgust. Brown sugar. <gasps> Two cups of shredded ch- Dude. And french fried onions and more ranch. Oh my. God, dude, I've seen, I've actually seen enough of this. All right, so thanks for watching my crock pot crap segment, all right? The next one we have, this is one of the most horrifying things I've seen in my lifetime. And uh, you've probably seen these too because these went ultra viral. And it's just to me, not only is this like a waste of food, but it's like, this is probably one of the worst ways to enjoy said food. Let me show you this one first and I'll show you the next one after that because you've probably seen the nacho table. So basically what people do is they put like tin foil over their table and then they put like a ton of tortilla chips down and do a huge table just with meat and then they pour like hot cheese over it and like people sit around and like eat off of the table. Like it's just so much excess food. Like I know you've seen these already, but one of them you may not have seen. <laughs> you've heard of the nacho table, but have you heard of spaghetti table? We surprised our son with a spaghetti table for his birthday. Cheer Just cold sauce, just from straight from the bottle. I can't tell if she hates her kid or if this is like punishment. Like if I didn't see the balloons, I'd think that he did something really bad to deserve that, I'm not gonna lie. What an absolute waste. Here's the next one. Jesus. And it looks like there's only four people there. <laughs> like, what are we doing, guys? What happened? What happened to us? Next one, this was viral pretty recently. And uh, if you haven't seen this yet, this says a lot about TikTok and what they believe is healthy. This morning, I'm scrolling TikTok and I see the craziest thing. This girl talking about a healthy Coke using balsamic vinegar, so I'm gonna give it a try. So she said that her Pilates instructor says that she drinks this every day and it tastes identical to Coke, a healthy Coke. So let's see. You do ice and a cute little glass and then balsamic vinegar, just a little bit. I just don't know if this is gonna taste like Coke. And then I'm doing a LaCroix berry. She said you can do any flavor. Add that over the top. It's already kind of looking like a Coke. And mix it up. Look at that. It looks identical to a Coke. Yum. 
y'all, that's delicious. I'm gonna tag her. Uh, that's delicious. That's that's my new drink. Uh, don't add too much balsamic because it'll overpower it. But y'all, mmm, mmm. I'll try some different flavors with the Lacroix, unless y'all know what I think. But this is a ten out of ten. Um. So she took two sips and decided it's her new favorite drink. So if the aliens are out there and they can, if they're watching me right now, just come get me anytime. Just come pick me up. I'm ready to go. Can't, I don't want to be here anymore. This is our last one, guys. And this one was, I will say this, my husband was horrified by this one. I'm also horrified, but I'm horrified by everything I see. But he especially was like, um... What are we doing here? Let's make a butter board. If you haven't seen this viral trend, pay attention because it might be the best one yet. Think a charcuterie board, but for butter. I added Malden flake salt, goat cheese, fig jam, fresh figs, strawberries, honey, red pepper flakes, cinnamon, and crushed walnuts. And you can't forget the crispy sourdough. There's so many ways you can make this and it's perfect for sharing. This is the viral butter board. If you've not seen this trend, it's where people smear butter all over. It's supposed to be like a charcuterie board. They like eat bread with it and they like put like a bunch of stuff on there. Here's another video. Making butter boards for Kourtney Kardashian. I don't even want to get into like the unsanitary trying to like, you know, if multiple people are eating off of this shared board. But like, let's talk about the debris flying around in the air <laughs> as well. That just can cling to the, I, I mean, I, oh. And it's just like the amount of butter that's sitting on top of this wooden board. I don't know if I've ever seen anything quite this disgusting in my entire life. Okay, you guys know I had to jump on the butter board train and do this trend because it just looks amazing and I freaking love butter. So here's my version of it. I she just had to jump on the board on the butter board train. Like this is what I'm saying, like there's something wild to me about like some I don't I just sometimes I feel like I'm alone. Like you know, not to get, like, not to have this video take a turn, but I feel like I'm alone when I watch these videos. I'm like, immediately it's clear to me that that's disgusting. Like, what these people are eating is disgusting. I will never try it, but then there's, like, these people that are just, like, I immediately had to hop on the train. I had to try this. Like, I was curious. Like, I would, I couldn't even imagine eating this crap. Anyway, oh boy, we've been through a lot today. We've been through a lot. TikTok's gone too far with, with the food trends. I think that TikTok food's some of the grossest food I've ever seen in my entire, entire life. I don't know how people even come up with this stuff. Just wanted to share a fun little video, you know. If you see any more, let me know. Just send it my way because I'm filing this away as just another reason to not be on TikTok, okay? This is the real reason TikTok's getting banned in the United States. I'm saying it now. <laughs> no more of this. These people can't get any away with it. They just can't. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave a like if you like these kind of videos. And I will see you in my next one. Peace. Every rooftop talk, every stone kiss, every late night walk, every secret wish, every second chance, every time we dance, I'm the Eiffel at a street lamp.